for you to qualify as a winner of the election presidential in Nigeria, you must at least garner strong support in four, minimum four out of the six geopolitical zones. Only the APC candidate garnered such support from five of the six geopolitical zones, no other one. Now, Mr. Obi could not have been elected president by winning in South, South, and Southeast and the Middle Belt states of Plateau, Southern Kaduna, Taraba, and Nasarawa alone. He needed the core Northern votes from the Northeast and the Northwest, which he never got. He needed the Southwest. Winning Lagos narrowly was not enough to make Mr. Obi president. These are political realities that have been ignored in post-election reportage by a number of international media. We made bold to say that the 2023 20, presidential election is the most credible, most free, most fair national election in Nigeria since 1999. And there are empirical verifications to back this up. No election since 1999 had thrown up the upsets that we had witnessed in this last presidential election in Nigeria. The elections into the Senate and House of Representatives were held the same day with the presidential election. They produced an outcome that showed our party winning majority seats in both chambers. None of the presidential candidates assailed the integrity of the National Assembly elections. Similarly, the presidential election produced expected outcome. Anyone who is honest enough and understands the political landscape of Nigeria and the forces at play in electing a president in a multi-ethnic and multi-religious society like Nigeria will know that only Ashiwa Jubala, Ahmed Tinumbu, and APC could have won the election. It must be stressed that only the APC went into the 2023 election intact. Now, five of the PDP governors under the G5 group worked against their party's presidential candidate, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. I'm sure you are familiar with the G5 governors of the PDP. Apart from the PDP fragmenting itself into three, five of its governors worked assiduously and strenuously against that same party, and openly too, and is still expected to win that election. PDP of 2019 had fragmented itself into three parts. The Labour, the NNP, and the PDP. And so how logical could it have been for it to expect to now come and win when it lost when it was whole and now fragmented into three still expecting to have won the election? We specifically called for this session with you who are representatives of international media organs in Nigeria to exchange views on the way you report our country generally and the specific matter of the coverage of the last presidential election cycle won by a party or progressive Congress and then presidential candidate, now president-elect, Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinumbu.